All right, so squaring up one of these uh, metal fabric buildings, one of the things that we did was we made these little concrete pads for the, uh, the trusses to sit on rather than just stake them into the ground. I just think that's a chicken shit idea for the Alaskan winter. So what we did is we made these pads and then we just put in some all thread and then we're just, we simply bolted them to that just for a little bit more wind resistance. But the problem is when we went to measure the square yesterday, the son of a bitch was two feet out of square. So what we're doing here is we simply pegged behind these these pads so that they couldn't move back and then we're roughly putting them into place by pulling them together with the four-wheeler and then even though it's a pain to move what we're doing is we're using my big forklift to use the hydraulics to really precisely pull them to, to exactly 40 feet because with the hydraulics I can get it within a fraction of an inch so we're chaining up the back of the forklift so that this this side of the tr of the truss can't move and then we're just chaining up the other end here and then we're just very slowly inching it right into the exact i mean exact right position so when i was trying to figure out how to square this building up there was no information online about how to do that and i'm not a carpenter or a builder so you know what might come as second nature to those guys uh, we got to kind of figure out but you can see that the line there is really curved now and it's really sticking out but we we got the the length of it right on the pr previous video simply by cutting these four by fours right down to the exact and i mean exact length in between each of the trusses then pushing on it with the forklift to get it to the exact right length now to get it to the exact right width as i said we we are ch chained up to the forklift on one end and then simply pulling it in with the hydraulics to get it right down so when we're done this thing should be exactly 40 by 80 and uh, these pads are you know moving as they need to go using using the equipment here so if you have one of these buildings and it's way out of square you'll probably um, have to do what we're doing and we are finding that this is working pretty efficiently so just one way to possibly do it and uh, we got to get this building up we have snow coming in a next couple weeks it's not you know feet and feet of snow but there's going to be snow and uh i got 300 round bales i need to have under cover my cows need more shelter and uh we got to get this done so i'm pushing these guys hard and um i'm looking forward to taking a break though i've been working 80 to 100 hour weeks here for the last whatever that is four or five months and I'm looking to getting this done and maybe taking a hot tub or something and resting a little bit so all right we got to go back to work